What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Just BSing. Today we're doing another of our world famous top 10s that you guys seem to be enjoying so much. Uh, again, things that we'd like to see in the superpowers line. And we're talking today about play sets. And I know that's something that so many of you have requested and wanted to see come to the Todd McFarlane superpowers line. It's things that the Kenner line had, the Hall of Justice, they had a, another couple of play sets planned and never created. And so today we're going to be talking about our top 10 most wanted play sets for the Superpowers line going forward. And we're going to throw in some bonus accessories that we'd like to see included because there have been a glaring lack of accessories in the line so far. So we will throw some of those in in some of the play sets that make sense to have accessories. So before we get into our top 10 list, please remember to like, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. We are a small growing channel and it really helps us out a whole lot. We love BSing with all of the people that have been BSing with us and so many more that we hope to BS with in the future. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, drop your comments down below, and we'll go ahead and jump into our top 10. But as always, we cheat, so we do have an honorable mention. And our honorable mention is the Dark Side Tower of Darkness. This was something that was to be in the Kenner line, did not get a chance to be created, and it's just something that I think would be really fun. And the reason I know it would be fun is because, well, it's, it's been done. A great custom artist by the name of Brian Driscoll or Superpowered Customs on Etsy has done a fantastic mock-up. And I think it's 3D printed, if I'm not mistaken, and hand-colored. I mean, just looks really, really good. Selling them on Etsy. Now, guys, they're, they're not cheap, but man, it's amazing. Looks really good. And our friend of the channel, Superpowers Reviews, has done a review on that very playset on his channel. So we'll drop a link down in the description, let you guys go check that out. Really recommend it. Very good custom playset and a very good review from Superpowers Reviews. So if you are interested, again, we'll also drop the Superpowered Customs link on Etsy. If it's still there, I, I believe he's still selling it. Uh, I know there was limited supply available, but if there are still a few there, we'll make sure of that. Drop that link down below as well. With that, out of the way, our only honorable mention, I think that's the only time we've done a review where we didn't have multiple honorable mentions, but that is our only one. We can jump into our top 10. Chris, do the honors, my friend. Give us our number 10. All right, so number 10, uh, we're gonna go with one of the classic. Um, we're gonna go with Teen Titans, the Titan Tower. Love it. So, you know, you've seen the cartoons. It's just a big T, uh, but you know, they have multiple different levels within it, including like an armory. So some of the accessories that I think would be really cool in there, maybe some upgrades for like Cyborg, you know, mm. so you could put some different guns on, some maybe batterings for uh, Robin, or, you know, just some other little uh, clothing options or something. Like a bow staff. Yeah, a bow for, staff, exactly. Yeah. You know, you change Raven from the purple to the white, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, so just uh, kind of a simple big T, you know, that can kind of open up both sides so you can have all the different ac accessories, all the different rooms in there. I like that. I like that. I, uh, I think we need a cyborg figure too. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I need a cyborg figure. <laughs> he wouldn't come with it. <laughs> no, probably not. Probably. I think cyborg is probably a big enough figure that he wouldn't come with the, ex uh, with the, uh, play set, but, uh, Definitely needed if, if we're going to have some changeable parts for him in there. Need, need, need us a cyborg to go along with that. <laughs> Love that. Love that choice. Our number nine is going to be, I think we'd love to see Cadmus Labs. Uh, Cadmus would be a fun one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, Cadmus is uh, big in the comics. Wasn't a, a big thing in the Super Friends show or anything like that. But it would be really fun, and that could be like we're talking about figures that, that we need to go along with these kinds of things. That'd be a great place to introduce a Lex Luthor to you. Lex Luthor could come with Cadmus Labs. But you can imagine a Cadmus that has kind of what you were talking about with the Titan Towers T that where it opens up, get a Cadmus Labs that opens up, and you got clone chambers yeah. in there. We're getting a Bizarro in Wave 9, so that would be a great place to put, you know, a Bizarro into one of those clone chambers. Oh yeah, even that's, I think that's where Superboy from like the 90s sure. was uh, was created as well. So, sure. So Superboy, uh, Bizarro, uh, maybe even experimental with Doomsday, you know, Doomsday. something like that. Yeah, if you, you could potentially even an Ultraman if you want to go with some kind of weird 
you know, origin story for him. Something where you can put figures that are clones of other figures. Or certain into. characters that were even created in Cadmus besides clones such as... Metallo. Yeah. yeah. Bonus Metallo <laughs> figure. That's what I'd love to see with the Cadmus Labs. Is, uh, Metallo was one of our top most wanted villains that we wanted to see. Yep. Be a great place to put him is in a place at as Cadmus Labs. I would I would love to see that. Yeah, that'd be a great one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, so then next going to take us to our number eight. Uh, number eight, we would like to see a giant flying skull ship <laughs> uh, for Brainiac. So you know, a big monstrous one it's that you could the mothership. The mothership. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we've we've got his skull ship drone. Yeah. You could have the big mothership. But the mothership. Yes. And within there. We were thinking you can add in some accessories because the whole thing with Brainiac was he would always go to different planets and he would uh, capture the most uh, advanced civilization or a city from that civilization, capture all their technologies, and then, of course, destroy the yeah. planet. So why not have, like, Bottle City Candor? Gotta you know, have Candor in there, yeah. Uh, more stasis chambers because that's what he obviously does as well. As he's been capturing certain species and also keeping them them alive as well. Um, so yeah, I think a uh, 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 mothership for Brainiac, that'd be a really sweet one as well. Another is kind of the same thing where you can just open up, you get kind of like the uh, uh, He-Man back in the day, you know, sure. like Snake Mountain or uh, Castle, Castle Grey Skull. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Or think back even to a different toy line, Micro Machines. Yeah. All of those play sets they had for the Micro Machines where they all opened up. I think a lot of these play sets we're talking about today could have a similar feature. Where oh, yeah. Kind of 100%. That'd be these, awesome. These are most likely never going to happen, guys. Nope. These are <laughs> these are way too intricate for, for what we're getting with McFarlane. But hopefully, hopefully. And if they yeah. were the actual superpower lines, they would be really big. So we'd have to have like Micro Machine type of yeah. <laughs> yeah. characters. All right. So that takes us to number seven. And the reason this one made it over the honorable mention the tower of darkness is because this is something that both of us have wanted to see in a in a toy line for a long time it's also related to dark side but it's more than just a tower it is the entire planet apocalypse yeah i'd love to see that again micro machine style it opens up you can have boom tubes in there you can have <laughs> yeah. the mobius chair you can have uh potentially another place that they could come with bonus figures like a Calabac or a Dasad or something like that. The granny. Granny goodness. Yeah, so yeah, you gotta have like the armory and stuff like that. Yes, but. yes. Um, so I, I would love to see that. It would need to be pretty large to house a dark side. Now you may be seeing this dark side up in the corner up here, something that we have, you may have already seen the unboxing and review. I think that one might go up before this video. <laughs> that, that dark side definitely wouldn't work inside. Yeah. He's probably the size of the apocalypse we would actually get for the superpowers line. Yeah, how we're describing this apocalypse, it'd probably be the size of one of those, you know, giant like medicine, not medicine balls, but the little, uh, Yoga balls that oh, you like, sit at yeah. at work and everything or whatever. Just stability balls. The stability balls. Yeah, that'd be a really big apocalypse. That would <laughs> maybe too big. Maybe too big. <laughs> we want to include in everything we want. That's, yeah, well, that's how big it would be. That, that Your first $300. It would. It would. Three, $400 item. But hey, let's go for broke, right? Yeah, right. Let's why do not? It. That could be the crowdfunding project. <laughs> All right, so number six then, we're gonna go Batman with this one, yeah. and we're gonna go with Arkham Asylum. We have so many ideas. You could have so many different cells with this mm -hmm. one, with kind of Easter eggs to like that Legion of Doom. So you could have some of those little extra accessories, like maybe find the Riddler's hat or something like that mm -hmm. somewhere, or even just how they had them in the Batman, the Arkham Asylum games, you know, just how they had like drawings or posters like on the walls yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, I love, love that in, in the game where you could, you know, as you look at every cell to see whose cell it is, you could, you know, see the calendar for the calendar man and things like that. So yeah, for superpower specific, you could have the cells that have, like you were talking about with uh, the Riddler's hat or a cane or the Joker's mallet or, well, we're getting a Riddler. Yeah. We're getting Riddler <laughs> wave night. We need a Joker so he could have his mallet in there or a penguin so you could have his umbrella, you know, something like that. Just little Easter eggs, even if it's just a picture on the wall. Um, those would be really fun. And then someplace you can lock up all your bad guys. If we're, if we get enough bad guys enough to, bad to guys. lock up. Yeah. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting there. there. We got, we got a decent amount now. Yeah. You know, we could have a, a character, maybe Jim Gordon. <laughs> come sure. With this one. That would be a great bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Or Harvey Bullock or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there you go. From the Batman, you know, just a, a figure. And I think Todd McFarlane even said this at, uh, SDCC recently is that, 
they're releasing an Alfred figure for the Batman Forever line, but it's you know obviously the same Alfred for all of the movies, so it'll work with all of them. But it's a figure that they're releasing with a Batmobile because a figure of Alfred probably wouldn't sell on its own. Like a figure of Jim Gordon may not sell on its own. A figure of Harvey Bullock definitely wouldn't sell on its own. But packaged with something like an Arkham Asylum playset, man, you could put almost any character you want in there. And it's probably going to sell because people are going to want that play set. So yeah, that's right. It's a good, good place for something <laughs> like that. All right, so now we're getting into our number five. We're breaking into our top five. We'd love to see a Daily Planet. Oh, yeah. Uh, to go, obviously, potential bonus figure here is Clark Kent. But something that was actually planned for the Kenner line that you could actually make a part of the Daily Planet play set is a quick change phone booth. So it could have that bonus Clark Kent there's a phone booth kind of sitting outside. Maybe there's like a little sidewalk area on this daily planet and you could throw your Clark Kent in there and have Superman come out on the other side. That'd be really cool. Love to see it. That again, that was something that was planned for Kenner and never made. I think there's been some customs made of that, but package that in, I th maybe a little bit small for a standalone. It's not really playset size type of thing. So make that a part of a larger playset in the daily planet. Of course, a Daily Planet is something where you can have multiple bonus figures. You could have a Lois, you could have a Jimmy, you could have a Perry. Again, all figures that probably wouldn't sell as well on their own, but as part of a playset, makes a whole lot of sense. And I'm still, I, I just love the idea of the quick change phone booth on the outside. I actually have a Christmas ornament that's, yep. that's the quick change phone booth. I have one as well. Yeah, I have one yeah. As well. yeah the, I think we were talking uh, in a previous video about the different daily staffers that we could have. Like you were saying, it's just an endless. So you said Perry White, Cat Grant even. So uh, yeah, so many different figures you can include with this one. Uh, it'd be kind of interesting how big it was. Yeah, so I'll have to have a jan janitor closet because obviously Clark Kent would change into the No, because he's got his phone booth. But he's got both. He's you got, know? He, he could have one. He's got multiple, you know. True. I need so, an elevator shaft because it does that. Superman returns. The, the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, the way I'm picturing it is uh, kind of like the Ghostbusters firehouse. Ooh, so it's that tall awesome. building, yep. but then you get the globe on top, and then right on the outside, you get that foam booth that just kind of attaches to the outside of it. You have janitor's closet and yeah. and elevators and things like that as alternate changing areas for your Clark Kent bonus action figure that should come with that playset. Speaking of that same type of style, another one that would work great with that is going to be our number four, which is going to be the Batcave. Oh, I love it. I mean, I think the, the way that they had it in the Flash movie, they kind of represented it is almost exactly how I would like them to actually make a playset like that. You know, it's got the multiple different stages. You can have your Batmobile, obviously not the Batwing. This is another huge one, obviously, the way I'm talking about yeah. it. But. <laughs> you're but, not, you're not, we're not talking about the, the mini bat caves that have come before that's just kind of a little fold out with a computer here and there and a chair. We had something, something like a helipad for the bat, well, the whirly bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do need a little place to set the Batwing. Well, little unless garage. this is where they also introduce the Batcopter. <laughs> <laughs> I think that maybe have to be separate. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, the, this one would be really awesome. Uh, the way, like, I imagine that the Batcave could be just really awesome, I think. And then we could include additional um, uh, accessories with this one, like Tim Drake's staff, mm -hmm. uh, more Batarangs for Batman. Uh, maybe just have some of the other quick quick change costumes sure. that uh, you've seen um, from previous Bat, uh, Batman movies even. or I mean, <laughs> as many Batmans as we have, it could have an entire locker room where you just put, line up all of the Batman figures. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> for for his, different, his different outfit changes. So yeah, Batcave, not like any that we've seen before, although those are all awesome. And I owned probably three of those bat caves in my youth. Those were all great, loved them to death. They were fantastic. It was usually kind of like a Wayne Manor bat cave combo. Yeah. Where it was Wayne Manor on one side and bat cave on the inside. Also very cool. Would not hate if that's what it looked like, but we'd like something a little bit. A little bit bigger, a little bit more intricate. The problem is, is now we're getting so big is where are we gonna store all this type of stuff? Uh, we, <laughs> we'll worry about that when the time comes. I'm already running out of space. I, I'm, I just, we'll just have to buy a new house, I guess. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> So Batman has his home office, so to speak. You gotta give Superman his. We'd like to see the Fortress of Solitude. Again, another potential Kenner that never got to be made. I, I remember seeing pictures of, I don't remember what magazine it was in or something like that. This was like mid 90s by this point, but they were talking about the toys that were never made. 
and I saw the Fortress of Solitude and I was so mad, even as like I was going into my teen years, I believe, I was mad that there was never a Fortress of Solitude. This is our chance. Todd McFarlane, get on it. Let's get a Fortress of Solitude playset. This is uh, another one you could have bonus figures. Mm -hmm. um, you could have the any of the little robots that guard the, the yeah. uh, fortress. You'd have um, Kevin Smith's famous script where it's a polar bear. Yeah, let's have a polar bear, polar bear out there. Um, you could have a bonus Jarrell, maybe like a hologram style Jarrell that's kind of like that transparent plastic. Or if you go with the comics, you can have Jarrell and uh, Lara holding up like Krypton yes, and everything. Yes, yes, hundred percent. What I would like to see the bone if if we're gonna do a bonus figure, I'd like to see regeneration suit Superman. Oh, that'd be awesome! Suit. Yeah, with mullet, preferably. Yeah, <laughs> definitely want to see the mullet. I'd like version. to see them just make that one a general. Actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it, whether or not it's part of that play, that's that's a figure that we'd like to see at some point. One of those repaints that we would mind is regeneration suit Superman. No cape, just the black and silver suit. Would love to see that as part of a Fortress of Solitude or not. Great figure to have. But we need the Fortress of Solitude, yeah, so definitely Superman can have his place to call his own. Yep. Well, and since we are talking about the entire Superpowers line, mm. now we're getting to our top two, and yeah. you and I don't guys think these, haven't figured this out. These are going to be a surprise to no one. <laughs> so, right, yeah. so our number two is going to be the Hall of Justice yes. itself. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Uh, I'd like to see it Super Friends style, uh, obviously, yeah. you know, where it has uh, the big computer, obviously probably Batman logo on it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more than likely his. Uh, but, you know, more accessories for everybody, because this is where they're all meeting up so more batterings uh wonder woman's lasso would be awesome a to, lantern actually. for guy a, li <laughs> a lantern and kill a log <laughs> gotta have a hanger for the wonder woman's jet you yeah know? <laughs> so, yeah with with its tail on it yeah. with its tail on yeah, it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah i think the uh the hall of justice would be an amazing one now they already had it of course in the uh the the, the 80s but mm -hmm. uh, i think it's just really kind of just a cardboardish, right it wasn't it wasn't it was oh, okay. it was solid plastic it was oh. actually really cool um and just a, a straight remake of that I wouldn't be upset with because it even had like the lockers and, and things like that and um, control room and all of those kinds of fun things so something like that but maybe scaled up a little bit with more of those like you were talking about the accessories as part of those locker rooms so you could have the locker for Superman and you can have the locker for uh, Batman and you can have the locker for Robin and they have their batterings and extra things like that. Like I said, for mm -hmm. the lanterns, you could have the extra lantern hanging in there. Great way to introduce accessories that, like I know there have been accessory packs released before, even McFarlane has done that. Um, so that's, you know, one way to do accessories, but as part of these bigger play sets, I think it just makes a whole lot of sense to add those in to something that you're gonna to wanna to use those accessories in anyway. Yep, yeah, 100% agree, man. So yeah, that'd yeah. be a fantastic play set. Now, a lot of our viewers are screaming at us, why is the Hall of Justice number two? Well, guys, because it's been done before. But what hasn't been done before, our number one, the Hall of Doom. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Doom. Man. We would love to see a Hall of Doom. We're finally starting to get the majority of the Legion of Doom. There's still a few to go, but we've got Riddler, we've got Bizarro coming in Wave 9, one of our first waves that have a couple of villains in it, so that's, that's nice to see, starting to add in more than one villain per wave. We're gonna, at some point, most likely, have the full Legion of Doom, and they're gonna need their headquarters to call their own. This is very similar to what we were talking about with the Hall of Justice. Great place to add in those extra accessories. We talked about it for Arkham Asylum, potentially a great place to add in some of those things. This is an even better place. You can have all of the, the accessories that we haven't gotten yet. Our only villains so far that have come with accessories are Sinestro and Deathstroke, and Sinestro's just a lantern. So great place to put in things like mallets for the Joker and or Harley, Penguin's umbrella. The Riddler's riddles, uh, like yeah, we saw with the uh, Toy Biz. He's got the little terrible jokes, but uh, that'd be a fun place to put some of those kinds of things. Um, or his hat or his staff, things like that that you can put into the Hall of Doom uh, that go with the figures that are not coming with the accessories. Yeah, or even a replacement helmet for Black Manta. Yeah, sure. Aquaman, he's always getting that thing destroyed, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's clearly not going to actually be able to wear it. 
but uh, it would be fun to be kind of have it just sitting there as an extra helmet. Even it just kind of like in the background, like a painting, not the actual helmet. Exactly. So gotta, um, yeah, it, it would be so fun. And it's, I definitely want it to look like that Super Friends style Hall of Doom. Oh, yeah, 100%. Just would, even possibly coming out of a fake body of water. Uh, where I was, was going to say, I'm just going to be dunking this thing in. Anyway. Dunking it into the water. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> it's just, you know, just the pole that you stick into the water. But uh, yeah, with that like Black Manta ish. Darth Vader looking helmet that that rises up with moss coming off of it and things like that. We've seen some customs. They all look very cool. I would like to see an official one uh, come from McFarland Toys. And it was kind of funny, even just when we were looking up some of the playset ideas, I was watching one of the Super Friends where they came up with the idea for the Legion of Doom, or sorry, the Hall of Doom, and where they decided to like put it and build it and everything. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's actually pretty cool that they actually had that in the Super Friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, man. We just it's, it's something that I think everyone has been wanting. Everyone, I've, everywhere that I've seen people talking about potential playsets, Hall of Doom is always up there it, it, toward the top of the list, obviously our number one. And guys, we know that our top 10 is not going to be your personal top 10. We probably left out a whole plethora of awesome play sets that you guys wanna see. So let us know down in the comments what your personal favorite play sets that you would like to see come to the Superpowers line are. We'd love to see them. You guys always make fantastic suggestions. We just, we, we enjoy so much reading all of your suggestions for figures and play sets and multi-packs and all of these kinds of things that you've been dropping. So much better than the list we come up with in many cases. So we definitely wanna see your choices for play sets that you'd like to see come to the line. In addition to what we've said, what would you like to see in those play sets? Yeah. You know? so, um, uh, we can add on to these things that make them even bigger. Grander, Absolutely. You know? yeah. <laughs> just, just add on play sets. And that, that could actually be a fun thing to do is have a play set that you can add on to Dude, over time. That would actually be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it starts out as something like a $20 play set, but then they come out with Different Either, like rooms you can like add on. Yeah, or the clip in or yeah, something like yeah. that as gold label sets or crowdfunding that is actually successful at some point. Dude, that'd be really cool. Yeah. So that's another McFarland, idea. McFarland, come on. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? We're giving you gold. <laughs> we're, we're giving you gold here, man. Um, but guys, yeah, let us know if there is a play set that you can think of that that would work with. I mean, I can think of a few that we've mentioned that that would be really cool. Arkham, for, for one. Yeah, Arkham would be good. You just one. keep adding on cells and things like that. Fortress of Solitude, because you can add in uh, Superman's museum or zoo, uh, yeah. as he has, because after he defeats Brainiac, he takes all the creatures and he has a zoo of uh, uh, creatures that he could not return back yeah. to their home. Yeah, so. just do, the, do it Lego style, man. Let's just keep, <laughs> keep adding on. That will do it for us today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate each and every one of you, all of the newbies, all of our old friends. Man, we just get so much joy out of all of the interactions with you guys. Really keeps us going, makes these videos fun to do. So keep doing that. Hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. One of the two. It's <laughs>